How's it going everybody? My name is Ender and welcome to the next episode of my single player 1.3 Minecraft Let's Play. Today we have episode 3 I believe and I am on top of our jungle temple house here. And the first thing that you guys need to notice is that I have the faithful texture pack installed. I use the faithful texture pack in every Minecraft video I make, however I have not used it in the first two episodes of this single player let's play due to the fact that when 1.3 came out I recorded the first episode um, on the very first day it was released and the faithful texture pack was not yet updated to 1.3 textures. However, I have reinstalled it um, because I know a lot of you like it, and it's not too much different from the default texture pack, so those who don't like texture packs usually don't like it. However, I'm going to start things off a bit differently today because I want to um, show you guys something. I um, don't know how many of you find this important, but I do. The one thing that I cannot stand about the Faithful Texture Pack is the fact that there is no water animation for still water. There is animation when the water is moving, however not when it is standing still now most texture packs don't have this problem however I'm, the faithful texture pack is the only one I have seen that actually has this problem and there is a way to fix it and I'm gonna show you guys it the only problem is that the way to fix it is to use the default water the only problem is that means you'll use the default water for every texture pack you have installed because it's something that you have to change in MC patcher this means that um, uh, if, if texture packs that do have custom water animation even with still water it'll get uh, reverted to the default so you'll either have to change what I'm going to show you in MC patcher every time you want to use a different texture pack or you'll just have to deal with the still water so I'm going to cut to a scene where I am on uh, my regular desktop my computer and I'm going to show you guys how you can fix this alright guys so now we are on my desktop here and uh, here's the first part of the video that I just recorded, that small intro. Anyways, we're going to open up MC Patcher because this is where we're going to be able to actually fix the water problem. Now, the problem is the same with lava. Standing still lava also has no texture. It does texture when it moves. But it irritates me that standing still it has no texture. So this really does not matter. I mean, you can select I don't like better grass. I don't like connecting textures. This doesn't really matter. What you need to do is go into options. And here you're going to see uh, under HD textures, there's two we need to worry about, water and lava. As you can see, they're custom animated, which allows you to use the texture packs custom um, movements for the water and lava. What we need to do is select default. What this will do is we'll, it will give us the default water and lava animations, but it'll obviously be scaled to the size of the HD texture pack. In the faithful texture pack case, it's 32 by 32. So after we do that, we got to go back to mods and click patch. And there we go. So we can exit out of this now. And now we're going to hop back into Minecraft and make sure that it has worked properly. Alright guys, so we're back in Minecraft now. And let's go check out the water. As you can see, it looks just like the default. And there we go. It is standing still, yet it is still animated. They're very small animations, but they do make a difference in my opinion. Some people might not care for it too much, but as you could tell... It is a very quick and simple fix. It's a matter of a couple of mouse clicks, so um, I feel that it is uh, worth fixing, especially in my case where I'm recording a video and I want things to look as nice as possible. It's not that difficult to go back and switch it to custom when I want to use other texture packs when I'm playing off camera. So, I mean, it's a nice simple fix and uh, I'm really happy with it. Okay, so there's a couple things I want to start off by doing today as I talk to you guys. I want to get rid of this little shrub here. I think it's one log. Yeah, it's pretty pathetic. And I noticed that this temple was naturally spawned uneven, if that makes sense. As you can see here, we have a two or a double door here, and yet there are three stairs, and they are unevenly placed. So we either need to place four stairs or take one away. In my case, I am going to actually take one away. I think it'll look better. We need to go grab a piece of cobblestone and uh, replace that. Anyways, as I'm grabbing this, I wanted to talk to you guys for a sec. I guess we'll use a moss cobblestone. That'll work. I've been getting a very, very good response in this series. I've only uploaded two episodes of it, I believe. And yet, the response has been fantastic. And by the way, I think that looks much better now. I might actually switch this one out to be mossy cobblestone as well. But yes, I've uh, received a very, very good response from you guys. And I just got to say that it, it really, really makes my day to see that you guys are liking this series. Um, this is the series that I've been most excited to start. Um, 
I've just been looking forward to it so much, and um, I'm really, really happy that you guys are liking it, because I'm having a lot of fun doing it, and uh, like I said, I, I just can't believe how good of a response. I think the first episode has something like 50 thumbs up or something like that, which to me is insane. Uh, I know, obviously, you know, bigger and, and more popular YouTubers uh, you know, get thousands of thumbs up, and I'm not really concerned with getting to that point, but it's just really amazing that uh, you guys are showing me such a good uh, such a good amount of support, basically. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to mess with these coca beans. Now, I went and I messed around with them in a personal 1.3 world, and I learned how they work. Now, you guys left a lot of comments on the first episode after I kind of asked you what they did, which was awesome. A lot of you you know, showed me that you knew exactly what they did, and, uh, you guys were all right, uh, as you normally are, you guys are very good at, you know, leaving me info that I need, anyways, um, I do know how they work now, so I do want to start growing them regularly, I found out that they grow ridiculously fast, much faster than anything else I have ever grown crop-wise in Minecraft, um, you can honestly, I was playing in an off-camera world, and I had to harvest them they were all fully grown on the tree trunk probably close to every 15 or 20 minutes which is absolutely insane and i know right now i have to clear all these trees there's all these like one block tree stumps that's um a, a unique characteristic of the jungle biome for sure it's kind of strange in my opinion you've got all these little stumps and basically what that does is make sure that the ground floor of the jungle is just filled with leaves which uh, i'm not too happy with but Anyways, basically, oh, this is not a jungle tree. That's not cool. Hmm. Yeah, that's really not cool. I wonder, do we have any jungle saplings? I wonder if we do. Oops, knocked the torch off. That doesn't happen too often. <laughs> Anyways, one, do we have jungle saplings? No, we do not. That is not good. This is jungle wood. Okay, so that's a good thing. We can actually maybe just make our own jungle tree. Though I would like to get a jungle sapling and perhaps um, use bone meal on it. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. But basically, yeah, I found out how the cocoa beans work. They're actually a very simple, um, I guess, plant to farm or crop, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you would call it, a food source, I guess, really. But anyways, we need a jungle sapling. So I'm going to break a whole bunch of these. These are oak saplings. Uh, that's another oak sapling. I thought these were jungle leaves here. Maybe, maybe not. No, those are regular trees. We need a sapling from this tree. Or I guess from that one up there. That would do a trick for sure. Alright, I'm going to break a couple of these. Hopefully we can get a sapling rather quickly. I, I didn't think we'd have to have a problem with getting jungle saplings in a jungle. But it seems like we might. And I know some of you might be thinking that I'm just wrecking this tree. And you're probably right. But honestly, I can plant more. I've got a lot of bones. Which means that I can get a lot of bone meal. And I really just want to grow these cocoa beans here. Hmm. Not really getting any luck, am I? I guess I'll just chop the tree down while I'm here. Now, I could always just make my own tree using the jungle logs. But I would probably never get the leaves to look right, to be honest. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a cutscene here. I'm going to go knock down a few jungle trees and pray that I get some saplings from them. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long. And uh, I'll get back to you guys as soon as I have at least one sapling. So uh, give me a sec. All right, I finally got one. And wow, that looks cool. I, I like to be able to call that my home. It looks pretty cool walking up to that as it turns nighttime here. We're just going to hop in the lake real quick. Anyways, uh, I finally got one, like I said. Uh, man, I had to chop down like three or four trees just to get one jungle sapling. So quite a pain. Um... I feel that oak trees drop a ton of saplings, um, so do birch trees, but the pine trees and the, uh, I guess the jungle trees too, they don't drop very many saplings, unfortunately. Anyways, I think right here is as good a place as any to start growing uh, these cocoa beans, whatever they're called. Um, let me clear this out. Now basically what I'm going to do is plant our one jungle sapling and pray that it is a, a tall jungle tree. Obviously you can't grow ones like this, but maybe if we can get one that's as tall as that one, that would be decent. So here we go. Oh wow, that's that's perfect actually. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna go do is, I basically, it, it's very easy. Once, um, once these uh, cocoa plants, whatever you wanna call them, cocoa beans, get to this state where they are orange like this, they are done and they drop three cocoa beans. As you see, we have six, now we have nine. So basically, um, this is how you harvest them when you're done, very easy. And then obviously you turn the cocoa beans, I believe, into cookies or whatnot. But anyways, that's how you harvest them when they're done. Now all that's left to do is to know how to plant them, and they're actually very, very easy to plant as well. You simply just right click on the tree, and there you go. You can plant them the entire way. Now I like to uh, skip planting them on the bottom. Let me take that back. And I like to put torches all around the bottom. It keeps the ground lit, and I think it just looks a bit nicer. Now I don't think we have enough to plant this entire tree on all four sides, but basically this is all you do. And like I said, in my experience, they grow very, very quickly. Um, not sure if that's always the case or if it just happened to be the one session I was playing um, during. But anyways, we're going to grab a couple more, try to fill up that tree. Um, did we get our three? Yes, we did. Are there any more around here? It will be really nice. Um, I'm not seeing any more. Anyways, but now... Oh, Ocelot. That's a cat. That's awesome. I think you need fish to tame them. There's another one, and I see two more. Okay, so I thought they were all rare, and I was about to get all excited, but apparently not. As you can see, this one has already started growing as well as that one. But, um, yeah, we're going to have to definitely get some fish. Maybe we can go fishing and grab some ocelots. Um, I see some more down here. Now, these do look very nice, and once we get a large abundance of the, uh, the cocoa beans which will happen pretty quickly. We'll start planting them um, randomly amongst all the trees because they do look very, very nice. Um, they just kind of look tropical, not really tropical, but they give you the feeling of the jungle, which is really, really cool. But there we go. So now this is successfully gonna grow our cocoa beans. As you can see, they're just, they grow very quickly. So that's very, very cool. And I'm definitely happy with that. Anyways, let's see. I know I know that I have pumpkin seeds, and I would like to be able to use pumpkins as a source of light. For those of you who watch my multiplayer Let's Play, which um, also has been getting a very good response from you guys, which I have to thank you about, you'll know that I have a crazy pumpkin farm that just grows pumpkins like crazy, and I've basically used that and a little bit of glowstone to light up my world. I'm trying to get rid of torches, because torches don't, don't look bad, but... Uh, when you have too many of them, they can. Here, it's not a problem. I don't have too many of them in here. But when you have a bunch of them cluttered all together, they can look a bit overwhelming in some cases. Anyways, I want to set up an official pumpkin farm eventually. But I think for now, a small one could probably do the trick. Um, we might need a couple more fences here. So let's do that real quick. Um, I don't see us needing too much if we're only going to plant four of them. So, I mean, I would assume 26 would be enough. Um, this will be just a very, very small farm, kind of to get us going. And uh, perhaps we can expand it later on. Um, I guess we'll do that down here near the water somewhere. Maybe we can clear out some area. Yeah, I think maybe, maybe over here we could just plant a small bit of pumpkins. This, could, uh, this is going to be a very uh, makeshift farm, I guess. But if it gets the job done, I don't really see how it could be a problem, um, so to speak. I'm going to change this to dirt here. And I think what we'll do is we'll till this. We're going to plant our four pumpkin seeds. We're also going to put some light up here. So perhaps we can set the light back one block. I think that'll look cool. This is going to be changed to dirt. That way it's all one uniform block. We're going to grab that. And I think we should actually go grab some bone meal now in order to try, I don't know, maybe to keep animals out of here. I definitely don't want animals uh, trampling the crops. Um, hmm. I actually don't think I like having the torches back when I just realized that. I think I'm going to keep them out here. Looked a bit weird. Maybe we can, I know I ended up not using the fences, but maybe maybe we can expand this path out a bit. Yeah, look, there's already a chicken thinking he's going to come grab some pumpkins, so that's not okay. Maybe what we'll do is go like this. 
And then we can put a fence gate here. That might work out. I'm going to break that. That way uh, the, the fence is not connected to it. Same goes with this side. Yeah, and this could be a cool little cool little pumpkin farm just for the time being, as I said. Um, definitely won't be anything permanent. We need to go grab um, a fence gate as well as some bone meal. I'm going to block it off completely for now. I feel like we're getting a lot done this episode, which is really, really cool. Um, I did a little tutorial. We made a cocoa bean farm. We were starting to make a pumpkin farm. I'm just checking the time if you're wondering. And look at that. Some of them are already grown in completely. So you guys can see they definitely grow fast, um, which is cool. I mean, um, cookies don't heal a lot of health, meaning that if you can wind up getting a ton of them, um, I guess it could almost make it a useful source of food, though it probably... I probably won't use it as a source of food in my case because of the fact that it really, I believe they heal half a heart, which honestly, guys, just does not cut it. Um, you lose, you know, two or three hearts running just a short amount of blocks. So if you have to eat six cookies every time you run from one area to another, it'd be quite uh, inefficient in my opinion, especially when we're going to have bread as a source of food, which heals uh, two and a half hearts, I believe. So let's give ourselves a fence gate here. Oops, and there we go. So now we can just walk up, hop up here, open the fence, and we can get our pumpkins. Now I do want to grow them, or grow the stalks rather, that way uh, they can just start growing immediately. Or maybe, I wonder if we should have, it probably would have been better to have the stalks back one, that way the, the pumpkins would land here, because now the pumpkins are going to land here, which is totally fine. I'll still be able to stand here with the gate open, break the first one, and walk down, which is totally fine. Um, really not a big deal. However, um, I don't know. That's okay, I guess. It's really not that big of a deal. Now, luckily, we've got this tree, the leaves here, blocking almost all the farm. However, it's not the case there. So I think we should probably maybe build some sort of overhang. It'd be cool if we could do it with fences. I don't know if they would successfully keep animals out, though. I don't believe they would. I think they would just walk on it and then <laughs> fall down. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. I don't, I don't think so, though. I mean, you could definitely do something like this. <laughs> Looks kind of weird. We already have a pumpkin growing, too. I wonder... Would this keep them out? Let's use our natural uh, jungle tree thing there. Would this keep them out? Could they fall through? Oh, it it doesn't actually look like it. Um, let's see if I'm if that if that works. I mean, it, it might not be the prettiest balcony in the world, uh, or the best looking, I guess. But I don't know if it would be a necessarily a bad balcony. Um, I mean, if it does the job it functions but i mean we could put some torches up here it's probably pretty ugly looking but this definitely does keep them out i don't know i think i'll leave it for the time being but i'd like you guys to suggest possibly some better designs it doesn't look terrible but it looks kind of like a death death trap for the pumpkins though we do already have one growing which is cool um these grow pretty quickly too pumpkins and watermelons uh, i found out from my multiplayer world all right well i guess that that that's functional for now not sure how good it looks, like I said. And we might need to possibly build a cobblestone path over to it from here and maybe add another fence over here. That would look cool. And I see that one of our crops is growing in, but I think I'm going to wait till they all grow in to harvest them because if you're harvesting it, them one at a time, it's just going to take way too long. And look at this, uh, this. This is just crazy. It is almost all grown in, and we've been here. We, what, we, we planted these like maybe at most five minutes ago insane how quickly these guys grow really crazy but it's cool and i think they look awesome um yeah so we got a lot of stuff done this guys uh, or this episode guys um actual time in the minecraft world has only been so far about 90 minutes obviously we took about a minute or two off camera and we had uh the small tutorial that i did anyways let's put some stuff away here got a lot of junk to put away fences dirt we're gonna need to get a supply of food hopefully our bread starts growing or our crops rather so we can make bread anyway guys um i think i'm going to probably end the episode here i feel like we did a lot and i don't feel like i should drag on the episode any longer just for the sake of having it 
be longer because I know some of you like longer episodes but I also know that a lot of you guys like to see a lot of stuff get done rather than you just hearing me talk and uh, I have to get up very early tomorrow I'm gonna go help my grandma um, clean out part of her house she's getting ready for garage sale so um, I do have to get up at like 8 o'clock in the morning which for me on summertime is ridiculously early so I should probably get to bed early I'd like to have this video uploaded before I leave tomorrow so um, I want to thank you all for watching. Um, as many of you know, I do not ask for thumbs up except for on this series. So if you enjoyed this video, um, if you honestly did enjoy it, um, please hit the thumbs up button. Don't feel obligated just because I asked for it. If you seriously did enjoy the video, a rating is definitely appreciated. It's kind of, you know, what shows me that you guys are still enjoying the series, that the series should be continued, that sort of thing. And I hope you guys are happy that I'm using the Faithful Texture Pack and that we got so much done today. Have a great day, guys. I will see you all in the next video. And yeah, um, I guess just go enjoy playing some Minecraft, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.